Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share how I track my donations from my home. This is my tracker for 2018. This has been set up in my planner for a little while, since 417, and this is my 2018. 18. I had to think about it for a second. I've been doing a lot of videos for 2019 currently. And this is my on the go life planner in the hourly layout. And um, these are just a couple of notes pages that are in the back. So like I said, this has been set up for a little while. This washi, I actually grabbed out my little bobbin. This is from my shop. If y'all are interested, the information is down below. And these stickers, like the little flag stickers, are all from Erin Condren, if I remember right. So what I like to do is I like to use the, the dash method for things. What I usually do is I just give this piece of paper, or I actually like give my whole planner to my tax professional, and she figures out how much things are worth. I know that if you do your own taxes, I think that there is a chart on maybe like TurboTax or some other online sources that are reputable that you can actually see what the dollar amount is for things. These are like very generalized things. If it's like a really specific item that I know is worth a lot of money, like uh, maybe like a crock pot would be more like I put like kitchen tools because it's like like serving spoons and whisks and egg timers and like things like that, that, you know, a kitchen, like it's a kitchen tool. But if it was something bigger, like I said, like a crock pot or something like that, that'd probably be worth a little bit more monetary value, I would list that specifically. So in the spring, I did a big clean out and that was on 470 for the Epilepsy Foundation. And these are all the items that I had donated. Actually, just recently on July 31st, I had another pickup and you know, you get these little cards in the mail. I'm not gonna show you the front side because it has my address on it. Um, but yeah, so you know, I just did another pickup and I'm gonna just put in all the things that I donated, which are kind of similar to what I donated before, but there's a couple little differences. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just skip a line because it just makes my brain feel better. And I'll just put in the date that it was picked up. So it was picked up on the 31st. And it was the same foundation, the Epilepsy Foundation. And I put in their web address. So, you know, if I have questions or my tax professional has questions come tax time, we can always look that up. So let me write down all the things that I donated this time around. <laughs> All right, so here are the items that I donated this time around. So I had two serving trays that I donated. I had one mixer, like the little handheld mixer. Um, organizers, I had quite a few. I had like 15. Um, it wasn't like 15, it was actually 15. So I'm gonna put those in. And then as for baskets, I had six baskets. <laughs> You know, I'm a sucker for any good organizer or basket, but I'm really trying to like trim down what I have, keep all the really good stuff and the stuff that I know I'm gonna be using again, and just really going in and like purging things. I had three pairs of shoes that I ended up donating, and then I had a ton of pants randomly. So I had um, 12 pairs of pants. So I'll put that in. And then I had a ton of tops. Like, I don't know what happens, but it's like every time I get one of these little cards, I'm like, oh, I don't really have too much. I'm like, oh wait, never mind. I have a ton. So I have these big black, like, you know, those like big black like leaf bags or whatever, like the garage bags. I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna go around the house and see if I have anything. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many things. So um, I don't know what it is about tops, but I feel like I have like way too many, but it's good to purge some of those too. So um, I know I had a ton of them last time and I had about the same amount this time. So I had 30 tops this time. I also denoted sweaters. I don't know if that makes a difference, but for me, I actually wrote it down so I figured why not just do that as well. So I had six sweaters that I ended up donating and winter gear. So winter gear to me is like hats, mittens, gloves, anything you need like for the winter. So I actually had 12 hats. Um, they were actually unused and I was gonna donate them to somewhere and then I totally forgot and they just sat in the back of my trunk forever in my car. So I was like, you know what? 
this is time to get rid of them. And then I had a bunch of office-y items. I had some writing tools. I had some pads of paper. I had some filing system things. I also um, had a couple of other things like that would be kind of more office related. So I kind of lumped those all into one because the value of the items were kind of around the same. But I had quite a few of the items as I'm sure you could imagine. So I am going to be putting in a lot of dashes here. All right, so I had 27 office items. And that is all the things that I donated this time around. So that is how I have been tracking things in my 2018 planner. However, I do want to show you guys something that I showed in a previous video, and I will link that up above. It's actually in my new planner. This is my new planner for 2019, and I got the it's like the hard cover, the luxe cover in the colorful woven wonder pattern with the gold foil and the gold coil. And this is in the hourly version. I'll show you. This is the hourly version. I put the tape on there myself. Let me move this out of the way real quick. Um, but I have been setting up like charts and different things in here. And I wanted to show you guys what I was working on. And I did show this in a previous video, and I believe it was my 2019 Erin Condren move-in. So I, if I haven't already, I'll link it up in a card and I'll link it down below for you guys too. So this is my monthly tracking for 2019. I took inspiration from Jen at Jen Plans. I will leave her information up in a card and down below. So check out her channel if y'all are interested. I wanted to get more diligent about doing certain things and letting some tasks happen on a monthly basis. Some of these you don't need every single month, but I'll just go through the list really quick and then I'll kind of talk about the donation part in just a moment. So I have budget, wash bedding and blankets, wash windows, clean out fridge, clean out freezer, clean out pantry, clean out garage, air filter. That doesn't need to be done every month in my home, but it's good to have that in there. Culligan service, test smoke detectors. Again, not every month, but that's all right. Organize files, donations, which is what we're going to talk about in a moment. Toothbrush, face mask, clean out car, car wash and oil change. So there's a few different items on here that are gonna really help me with my donations for next year. And I'm gonna be setting up something really similar to this in this planner. So, um, but I think I'll just wait until that happens. I don't know, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. Washing all of my bedding and blankets. I mean, I wash my bedding all the time, but like the blankets, it's like all the blankets that are downstairs on the sofa and all the blankets that are in every other room that maybe dog hair gets on and things like that. So. If there's issues with any of the blankets, say that they're getting a little bit dingy, maybe my style has changed, um, maybe there's like a little rip or something like that in them, then I can decide if I wanna put that possibly towards my donations if they're worth recycling. Um, there, there might be a time where it's just garbage. I, I mean, I don't know, but that's gonna really help me with my donations. And then also cleaning out the garage, that is also gonna help me with my donations as well. Because a lot of times, things go into the garage to die. Like there's there's so many things in my home that I'm like, oh, I'll put it in the garage. I'll like deal with it later. I have so many things right now currently that are in my garage that I'm like, I haven't even opened up that cardboard shipping box. I should probably do that. Like I liter literally haven't done it. So I think it's about time to deal with things. So if I'm dealing with things on a monthly basis, then I know, hey, I'm not using this or hey, maybe I'll keep it for another month. And then if I, you know, say it's in April and then I'm in May and I'm like, you know what? I've waited a month. I don't even like the item anymore or it's not working for me any longer. It's time to go into the donation bin. So I'm gonna be doing that for next year pretty diligently. And then as for donations, um, I'm not necessarily gonna donate something every single month, but I think what's gonna be awesome is that I will have a system to look at and visualize and make sure that I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing when it comes to donations. Also in my garage, I'm gonna be setting up, like I have a bunch of those like big stir I think they're Sterlite bins um, and I use them in my crawl space for organization. If you guys are interested in which ones I got, I'll link it up in a card or not in a card. I'll link it down below. I'm sorry. And I use them for all my like holiday de decoration storage and all of my like other miscellaneous storage. And I have a couple of extra bins that are like just sitting in my garage. So I think I'm going to keep those bins in the garage and have them for donations. And then once I come across an item in my home that either isn't working for me or maybe the fit isn't right on the clothes item anymore or the shoes I'm just not into any longer or whatever it is I can just put it in that bin and the next time I get 
one of these cards right here, then I can either call them for pickup or I can drop stuff off at my local thrift store or something like that. And then I can clearly denote in my tracker what I'm donating and when I'm donating it and where I'm donating it to. So I really feel like this is gonna keep me on task and keep me on track for 2019. I mean, 2018, we're more than halfway through, but I'm probably gonna have more donations, but it's just nice to kind of go through things. And if it's like, if something isn't working for you, pass it along to somebody that it will work for, or just donate it because someone else is hopefully gonna buy it from that organization and they will receive funds for your donations. Oh, and if y'all are wondering, um, I don't have little boxes here because I ran out of the right color of stickers. I actually just got a shipping notification, um, I think it was today, saying that my package was on its way. So <laughs> I just ran out of stickers, but they will be full by the time 2019 happens. All right, so this is it for my video to show how I. I'm tracking donations for 2018. I would be so interested to know how you guys track your donations. Do you have like an app? Do you write it down like I do? Do you have like a spreadsheet on Excel? How do you track your donations for the year? So tax time, it becomes a little bit easier to muddle through all the paperwork. Let me know in the comments down below what works for you and your family. But that is gonna be it for me today. Feel free to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Also, feel free to subscribe if you wanna be part of the FDE family. And you can hit that little red bell notification if you want to be alerted when I get new videos up for you guys. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.